Yo, yeah, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me. So a question that came to my attention and it was, do you think men and women can be friends? And that was a good question because I actually said it and I pondered that. I had to think about that. I've never really asked myself that question before. So I really had to ride the train of thought that I had. Let me think about it. Can men and women be friends? Yes and no. That's, that's, that's my answer to it, and I'll tell you why. Yes, because it's possible. Anything is possible. And no, because it's not natural. That's not natural. I am so sorry for anybody out there who thinks that it's natural for men and women to just be friends. Oh, I am so sorry, but it's not. It's not natural, especially not in today's day and age. It's not natural. I'm just saying it's not. Uh, how would it? How would the friendship initiate itself? It would have to be in some dumbass way. Did y'all go to school together or something? Was y'all stuck in a class for eight hours a day? That's the only way it would be possible. Y'all was little kids. Y'all decided to be friends because y'all didn't know anything about sex and mud pies and uh, cooties or something like that was all y'all thought about. You get what I'm saying? But then this is 2022. Y'all teaching kids about sex. So I don't understand the, the benefit of friendship. You get me? I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, in all honesty, I look at it. Okay, now, I, this is one aspect I didn't really think about it, but I think it has a lot to do with uh, with your level of prosperity, I guess. At the bottom versus the top. Not so much the middle, because it can swing different ways in the middle. I'm thinking like, if you are in the habit of borrowing money from a lot of people or something like that, uh, you might like having friends for that reason. You get me? But then can you technically say that y'all friends if that's the only reason you there? But y'all name friendship anything. In the higher class, it's a little bit different. Now, friendship is mostly mainly connected to money. If you like money, then you're probably willing to be somebody's friend, I guess, up there. Yeah, you make friends, but then y'all not really friends because y'all stab each other in the back and shit like that. This is the, the thing is, when people talk about can men and women be friends, you really asking, do we have something to offer to each other other than our body parts. You get me? And then you're asking under what condition does those does that work? You get me? How long will you be my friend? Can it look when I think of friends, I think of people who grew up together, who know each other well, who's always there in each other corner, things like that. I don't really put that on the same scale as an acquaintance, somebody that you know, somebody that you may occasionally call every once in a while. You're talking about an actual friend. Can you be a friend? And what are the conditions of your friendship? How much does it cost? Why are you here? And how long will you be here? How long will you be here? Like I think about what made y'all get together? Y'all was at school. Okay, cool. Now, let's bypass the school aspect and let's go into the whole world. You're busy. You, you really don't have time for friendship. You don't. You don't have time for friendship with everybody. You get me? You're, you're only there for a reason. They offer you something. You get me? But it can't last because that might disappear. You get me? Let's say you, a man and a woman, are friends. The dynamics of that friendship might change if they get in a relationship with somebody. What do you think? That's what I think. I think that uh, time might come where your friend might get lonely because 
uh, you haven't been spending time with them and that'll change the friendship and then y'all will grow apart and shit like that. You get me? I guess when you ask the question of can a man and a woman be friends, I guess you really have to ask after that one, but how long will it last? Could it be a lasting friendship like a, a guy and a, a another guy who are friends all the way through high school and stuff like that and continue being friends because nothing really stops their friendship? Think about Kevin, Kevin Hart and his friends. You get me? They've been friends for so long that they still barbecue together. His wife knows my wife and all that other shit like that. You get me? There is no friction between none of them. You get what I'm saying? No friction. Now, you can say, hey, you keeping my husband out too late and stuff Stuff like that but Stephen that's not a friction you get me because the husband can stop that but when you have a a man and a woman that's friends and both of them get into a relationship with two different people who don't know each other that is a that is four different types of people with no real ties to each other the girl and the friend the boy and the girl that are friends would probably sacrifice their friendship for the love that the man and the woman would give them. And that would change the dynamics. And in all honesty, there would be no way to pair up the two. Oh, we could double date. But then you would you would bring the guy and the uh, girl closer to each other. That, that was supposed to be your partners. They would get closer together. And that dynamic would never work because there is really no loyalty to anybody in that situation. You get me? I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm not making sense. Maybe I am making sense. Maybe nobody got no change. Who knows? I'm just saying that I don't really think that a man and a woman can be friends. And if they can, it's only for a period. A period. You get what I'm saying? A moment in time. You get me for something to change, for her to, to meet a guy, for him to meet a girl, for her to... Uh, not like him as much. I don't know. For him to like her too much, I, I don't know, man. I, things happen. Things change. And it fucks up. And you can say, yeah, that happens for any relationship. I just know that uh, that relationship, the man and the woman, will be the last one on the totem pole because every other relationship will beat that one. A husband and a wife, that relationship will beat the friendship and the, uh, the, the man and the girl friendship. Uh, what else will beat them? Uh, two friends. That a two uh two a uh, girl and her home girl that relationship will withstand their friendship. You get me? And uh, what else? A guy and another guy that relationship will withstand the girl and the guy friendship. You get me? Uh, there is really not much to keep us together. You get me? As friends, that is not my goal. That is not really. You get me? That's that's not really what we're here for, to be friends like that. Technically, you're supposed to be married somewhere. Go talk to your husband. Go hang out with your husband. Go spend time with your husband, your family. You get what I'm saying? Go out there with your friendship. There is nothing that can come about that except if you need to borrow money or something. That's the only thing I can think about it. If you have a, a emotional point because you're single or something. So basically, y'all got to be single and y'all both got to be so ugly to each other that y'all not happy being in a relationship with each other. But y'all still like the friendship. Anyway, bye.